Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the StockSwish.com. This is Melissa, just doing an update here in a play uh, that's been going all morning, kind of like a snail, but actually it's a good trade. It's a solid trade. It's a quality short here. I'm in this JCP, and, you know, once a certain time of the morning goes by and I'm still in a play, I'm pretty much in it till the close. I have some things to do today, so here I am. Let's go back over the morning. Actually, let's go back. This to the 15-minute. Let's go back over the morning of JCP. So I've been watching this for a long time. I made a call on this a while ago that this would break um, $7 and get to $7. It's going to. I don't, I don't know if this does it today. It's 12.15-ish. A realistic target on this today, though, is $7.50, $7.30, possibly $7 today. But I do think this breaks 7. So you could have shorted this aggressively today out of the gate at 9.31. I did not do this, but you could have. I saw it. I saw it hit, and almost as soon as I saw it, I quick called it. And this is one of these ones where even if you don't get the exact entry here at 93, you can take it here because the stop is still good. By the time I saw it, it hit 790. Stop was over the high of the day. Came down in here, waited, 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 wanted it to rally back more. It didn't. Then decided to do this here. Here's the second setup, 84. And really then I gave this a pretty good cushion all the way up here for the stop. But you could have been tight with it here. It's never gone over that. Then it fell on down and for some reason just got held up right in here. But it's broken this already now, this area of 775. Next area it has to break is 770. And again, the target's 750. So this is a nice, easy peasy trade that's had several ads that you could be doing that's working here on the live day um, on a day when there wasn't a lot of things to look at here. Mondays are usually the slowest days of the week. So this is a nice trade to be in. It's also hit and triggered on every major time frame. The 15, the 30, the 60, the 5, the 2, the 1, everything. Every major time frame is just hit on, so it's a nice gap. Let's go over the daily chart. So a while back here, I don't remember exactly when I did the video. I'll have to look it up. I did call it JCP would not hold this area and would break it. It hasn't broken it yet, but it's on its way to doing it. It's going to. And Friday had a huge day in this. He had a huge, massive day in this. I actually did this Friday too, but I, uh, you know, didn't hold it all the way down to the dream target. You would have had to hold it in the afternoon Friday to do that. I did do the morning play in this, but this did go to the dream target here on Friday, which was 760, 750. And if you traded it Friday morning, you could have retaken it in the afternoon. Today, now I'm deciding, though, to wait this puppy out and see if I can get this going here this afternoon. And so here's the next area. So it's a nice call in here because I know it's going to break. JCP has been one of these charts that I, I just knew was lower. It's kind of like... A, Many of the other stocks have been calling and seeing these things going. I mean, JCP could go to $3.50. That, that sounds crazy because of the price point it's at right now. It's, it's $7.73. Sounds crazy. The stock could actually lose 50% of its value here, even in the year with the price that it's at. But it could. This is what happens to stocks that are weak. This is why you play weakness and you buy strength. You short weakness and you buy strength. And I'm really good at seeing both, weakness and strength, although I prefer to trade to the downside to the, do the shorts. So the ad on this, then if you wanted to do the ad, you could have aggressively out in the five minute here, or you could have waited for it to trigger on the 60. Right in here, 775, stop over 785, 786 you could put it. This is a nice trade. I mean, this is actually a 10 cents entry here. Even if this goes only to 750, it's two and a half hours here in a late play, and it's three plus on the original entry because the stop now can, you know, very well be over this area here at 7.83. Let's look at the 60 minute. Look at this, this is a beautiful chart. Really nice chart. So early yet in the day for this to fall, I have a feeling this falls into the close. It's not doing anything wrong. It's perfectly fine. I'm watching it go on down. We'll see where it goes. I think this falls into four o'clock. I think it starts to get mustering up some of the energy in itself, the momentum between 2 to 15-ish, and falls into the close. This is definitely lower. $7 is the target. This is a nice core short, a swing trade to be in. Next target, $6 and $5.20, then $5 and $4.90, and all the way down. And I, I just have a feeling that JCPenney is going to get into the threes sometime in the next year. It's just one of these stocks that for some reason 
it, you know, it's getting sold off heavily. And so, again, I like to trade based on institutional buying or selling. JCPenney couldn't be a better example of this. Institutions did not buy this gap back here when this gapped up here. Oh, look at this break. Go, go, go. Come on. Under 70, 70, 70. Hold on. I have to pay attention. No, oh, I did not get under 70 yet, but this is going to right now. I have to pay attention to what I'm doing here. Uh, what was I saying? Institutions did not buy this gap here. This gapped up. It's a gap up. It's a gap up over resistance. It gapped up. It's a gap up in the 50 period moving, moving average. It gapped up. It gapped up and then it gapped down here and failed and had a big green bar. This is a dollar. And then gapped up again and held and held and held in the 8 and held in the 20 and held up here. And actually held in the 50 on Friday, but was a short. So, you know, institutions, however, did not make this go up in those gaps. The institutions are selling out of this, or basically this is being shorted now too. So it's a nice pressurized gap where we're following the institutions that are making the gap and continuing it down to their downside. If this had had something where it would have looked like institutions were buying JCP, then I wouldn't be in it short now. But the chart is a beautiful short. It's been a nice short. And I had a great eye to see that this would break in here. I put this on a video. If anybody watched it from, you know, a month ago, that this would eventually do it. I can see these things so well because I'm very good at reading price and very good at reading institutions of what they're doing in positions and stocks. So feel free to get in this if you want to yet today. 86 would have to be the stop. If you think this is something that you would want to do, um, there's nothing wrong with this here yet this afternoon. Even the stop in this is still nice and squishy. This could break 750 today. Next target is 732, 728, and then and then 704 and seven bucks. This is Melissa with the stockswish.com. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see how JCP ends up today. Nice, relaxing, beautiful day. Uh, really nice day here in New York. Just in my JCP doing some paperwork. Up money in this already, and there's not doing anything wrong. So have a wonderful day, everybody. The next gap course is April 26th and 27th. If you'd like more information, feel free to email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Beautiful short in JCP. Follow it on down. Have a great day, everybody.